What's up, guys? I figure, hey, why not? Let's live stream. Let's grind a little bit. How you guys doing? Glad to see you guys here. My goodness. All right. Let's see. We did the patch update, so everything's updated. I'm curious to see how the game's going to play now with all the new updates. So, uh, let's play. Go to the Metacaster. There we go. And we're loading in. Guys, guys, I hope you're doing great. Hope all is well. Everything looks the same in our garage with the new update and everything. Yeah, I didn't announce this live stream. I just figured it was kind of one of those things like, why not? <laughs> we opened up this part of the garage. I haven't played since we opened up this part of the garage in the last live stream. So now we have this room and we need to fill it with like the repair benches and then of course the lathe for the disc brake, like disc brake lathe and all that stuff. What are we working with? Uh, about 25,000 bucks, only at 11, <laughs> level 11. Let's see if we've unlocked. So we've got available skill point seven. That's pretty nice. And then we can unlock quite a few things here in the garage. Harper, I'm doing good. Thank you so much for asking. I appreciate it. And let's see. Uh, again, um, sorry if I don't get to every comment. I can't see them. Like, they, they go pretty quick. <laughs> I got to be honest. I appreciate each and every one, but they go pretty quick. So I don't get a chance to answer all of them. So don't feel bad. I, I apologize. I'm, I, I do my best here trying to trying to make this all work. Because this is one of those games where you kind of have to, you know, think your way through and having to do it. There's probably smarter people than I I know there's smarter people than I am that are much better at it than this. So we can go more tools, like the tire tool. I don't really worry about that one. It's never been one that I've... A uh, brake lathe. We want that. Seven... Seven... Uh, 1,750. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. So now we can buy the brake lathe. It is bought... And what do we have here? Workbench. Okay, 1500 Obviously, we want that. So I'm guessing this is all going... Yeah, it has to be going into the... Engine tools and engine stand. Well, we need that. It's nice that we have the extra money. Body repair station. Go ahead and grab that. Even though I don't think our skills are quite up to that yet. Which is okay. And then paint booth is 1500 We're currently, or 15000 sorry. We're currently at 16700 We're going to wait on that. We don't necessarily need the test path because we can use the test track. And it works just fine. So, we can close that out. Let's see what we bought over here. Obviously, here's all our new stuff. That's cool. We got our brake lathe. That I've been excited to get my hands on. I don't know why. I mean, it just does one job, but it's cool that it's it's a new feature in the game. We got our engine stand and our repair table for body work. That's awesome, and a repair table for parts. And all of a sudden, <laughs> they call this a repair table for body, but that's uh. Well, we got an English wheel here. That's cool. Yeah, this is for like forming panels and things like that. So it's a repair table for body work as well. And I guess they call the press brake another repair table. But it's cool that it's here. And then you can even, it's even got the uh, little things in there to make your own custom little radius rods, things like that. Well, not, or not radius rods, but like to be able to shape, <laughs> shape uh, round, round stock into radius and whatnot. So we got the engine puller thing out here too oh they even have okay so this is new for me again guys yeah you've probably been watching guys that have been doing this a lot longer than me i've been busy lately uh, it's cool that they have the engine balancer tool here that's a very handy thing to have in real life so that's cool that it's now included official pizza hut you guys <laughs> pizza hut doesn't deliver to my area I live on a lake out in apparently nowhere because they won't come here. I 
All right, so I think we need to grab a new job. An FMW Panther Mark I performance. Should we do a story car? What do you think? Should we do a story car or a different car? Bolt cargo. <laughs> we already did a creeper van. Nissan. So yeah, that would be kind of cool. Repair all engine faults. Engine has no power. Wow, there's a lot wrong with this car. And a fairly easy. Let's go with the story car. Let's make it happen. We did the Fair Lady Z on a recent... Oh my god, this thing <laughs> looks terrible. Wow, okay. So, let's go ahead and wash the thing first. Interior, exterior. Richard, just got home from work. Great time to watch. Great time to have you come. I appreciate you being here. Certainly. Let's go ahead and do that. Harper, I just want to let you know that I don't have permission to use Super Chat. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. No sweat. No sweat. We're just having fun here. And I'm sorry if I don't get to all your comments. I do apologize. I, I, I'm trying to look over there when I can. This is one of those games where it's tricky like that. So this thing is in rough shape. And do they even want me to do anything about the body? He says, hey, hi. So yeah, I borrowed the car from my dad. He kind of doesn't know what to do about it because he's on a business trip. And as you see, it happened that I was driving home at night and something jumped out in front of the car. I was driving very slowly. I really was. And I didn't manage to brake. And you can see the results of that in front of you. The car was thrown around a bit. But it cannot be that bad, can it? Please do what you have to do to cover up my cover up the tracks my father will hate me if he realizes that i messed around with his gym it's his beloved car please make it quick okay well if it was his beloved car he could have done a lot better oh this is what do we have here is that a v8 what do they got in here factory where's the info there it is i'm still getting used to this whole layout here so weight factory size color variance origin can be found at, okay. Where does it give me the details of what it's got? Under the, I mean, well, come on, look at this thing. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a V8. <laughs> All right, so if this was his gym, he didn't take care of it very well. Harper, thank you for the compliment. Let's move this over to, okay, it's clean either way. Let's just take it over there and do our little inspection. We can do our diagnostics, OBD2. Oh yeah, engine tab, top right, it's a V8. Well, yeah. Where did I miss it? I'm gonna have to look at it again. Okay, so it's not too bad in there as far as engine-wise goes. Top right tab. Again, I'm still getting used to this new... Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. V8 dual overhead cam. So, things weren't too bad with the uh, OBD2. Let's do a compression check. Let's see what we got going on here. Well, the engine's really not bad. So far, this is easy to work with. So long as, let's see what they want on the order form. They want things at what condition? Again, things have changed a little bit since the update. 72, there it is. Okay, that didn't change. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> okay, so 72%. 
Let's run over and run the fuel pressure test. And that's not too bad. I know it's a little bit under what they ask, but it's not a huge deal. So it's the, the, the order was talking about this kid was being an idiot and did something stupid. We've all been there. But when I've done that, I've never been able to pay a mechanic to fix it for me. I just had to do it myself and hope nobody noticed. And we did our fuel pressure test already. Okay, so let's look at the part not discovered still. Repair, replace body parts, change oil. Okay, this is fine. Spray at the factory. So now we got to paint the thing. Change coolant fluid. And, okay, so let's go ahead and go into this area here. Engine. We've got 26 points of interest to inspect. Carla, I love this game too. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, I do like the idea of the perk. Oh yeah, we still got perks we haven't used yet. Man, I need to use those. Because we could speed some of this stuff up. Check the suspension. Yeah, after we after we check this car out, we'll check that stuff. I'm not seeing anything red pop up yet. It all seems to be copacetic and doing good. But once we start inspecting and get a closer look, we'll be able to see what may be going on here. Guys, I hope you're doing well. I cannot complain. Myself, let's go ahead and just for the heck of it, inspect the coolant reservoir and the power steering reservoir. ABS module has been checked. Exhaust. There we go. Did I get that one completely? Nope. One more. There we go. And we'll check the suspension. And this side suspension. Oh, I'm seeing red now. Okay. We've got issues in the rear suspension. Probably a lot of it has to do with rubber bushings, so that'll be fun. I do plan on, after this car, guys, going to the junkyard, dragging something home, and flipping it, so... If you're interested in that, that is my plan. Nope, not that. Let's go ahead and, well, let's take a look and see what we found. Real nice. So, part not discovered. I'm guessing all of that is rubber bushings, which is fine. It's mostly rear end stuff. And then we know what we need for the body parts. The oil, spray it, all this stuff. The tricky part is, I don't have the paint booth, and it costs what now? Fifteen thousand dollars, and I have sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty-five. Well, let's buy parts first. If not, we'll just kick it off without respraying it. But I mean, this thing is rough. Hmm. Who knows? It looks like most of the problem is back in the rear of the car. Not a big deal. We'll take care of that. The car is an FMW, BMW, pretty much. being asked in the chat there. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Looks like this was the side that needed the most help. I'm gonna spray that there. Pull that off. Oh yeah, this stuff is rough over here. Pull off the brake pads. The disc. Let's go ahead and just pull this side apart. Just to get a good idea, because again, it still says there's parts not discovered, like this wheel hub bearing. Very could, very well could be one of those. They often need replacing when it's this bad on 
this one on the side of the cars. Pull this wheel hub. Go ahead and get this rubber bushing out here, which looks to be... Oh, nope, that's a bad one. So we found one. Rear suspension arm. Looks like something happened on this side that was not very good. Go ahead and pull the bolts out either side. And that, as well, pulls out the rubber bushings for those. Get that out of there. The upper arm. Oh, we gotta spray that one. Tires will be one of your problems. Well, thanks for mentioning. I'll pull those apart. Cap. Take that off. Spring out of here. Spring cap is definitely gone. Sway bar in link is shot. So it looks like the way that this game shows worn parts or, or bad parts is with rust. But from the sounds of it, the story that was given to me on the story mode was somebody was showing off, ended up wrecking this whole side of the car. Let's see if we found. We've got one part not discovered. So we're doing pretty good there because everything else is labeled and ready to go. Except for the fact <laughs> we don't have a spray booth. So one part not discovered i'm sure it's around here oh 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 oh! i see it it's right there that's what it is that's what it's gotta be now let's check oh no part not discovered impressive okay they have stumped me again get a closer look could be a bearing on this side. Oh, maybe it's somebody mentioned something about the rim. Ah, ha, 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 now that I think about it. Yep. Thomas St. Clair. Here you are. So glad to have you and your blinker fluid issues. Take that. And now... Part not discovered. Hey! We got one more. Pickle Rick, you're in Texas too? I'm not currently in Texas. Although I was born and raised there. Is it a fuel pump? Sometimes that'll sneak up on you. Go ahead and take off the <laughs> rear bumper. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Fuel pump. Let's take you out. No, is it 75%? Grand Prairie. Yeah, I know where that is. Hmm. There's always something. Still. Part not discovered. And it should be within the high. Okay, so you see him driving home one night. And basically the guy screwed something up. Or the kid. The kid screwed up his dad's car. Which looks pretty screwed up already. I should have taken this thing out on the test track. But I have more fun in the garage. Okay, so there's something we're missing, and I'm curious what that could be. Again, not seeing anything overly rusty or bad on this side. You would think it would all have to be on this side where everything else was damaged. Let's pull. Oh, let's pull out this rubber bushing just to be safe. It looks fine. Let's go ahead and double check that part not discovered. Okay. That's fine. Harper, see you later. Whataburger! Oh my god. You know what's cool? Is uh, 
Patrick Mahomes is bringing Whataburger to the Midwest. Because he, he <laughs> the guy, you know, grew up in Texas, loved his Whataburger, as did I, growing up in Texas. It's fantastic stuff. Uh, is He put up, put up money to bring it to Kansas City <laughs> so he could have his Whataburger. That's a good idea. Check uh, leaky air filter or fuse or anything like that. I'm not seeing. We checked all through that, but oh, we did not check fuse box. Hey, maybe. Maybe something there. Let's go ahead and pull the. Well, no, we did that. We did that with the um, multimeter. So we would have found that there. There's something sneaky. Being sneaky, sneaky. Again. You'd think it's got to be something to do with rear. Going for fuel hub three. It's got to be something to do with this area, I would think. Harper, I appreciate it. Remove the engine. The engine's fine. We're doing good on the engine. What the f is a Whataburger? Uh it's it's. It's kind of one of those things. It's a regional. a regional burger joint that everybody you know when it becomes regional and you can't get it everywhere everybody thinks it's better than everything else kind of like uh in and out in and out's really good uh water burger you can only get it in like texas oklahoma and stuff that's well, really good i really like it i wouldn't say it's the greatest thing <laughs> greatest burger ever made but as far as fast food goes, man, it, it beats the hell out of Wendy's or anything like that. And I think you find that with a lot of the regional stuff. Like the more regional, like In-N-Out and uh, Jack in the Box and Whataburger and stuff. Places that focus more on one area. Uh, it, it seems like the quality is a little higher than places that just... Like McDonald's and... Burger King and stuff. And not to knock Wendy's. Okay, so the clutch plate looks good, and so does the flywheel. But is that up to snuff for the thing? Still part not discovered. I'm kind of feeling like we're going down the rabbit hole once again. <laughs> Wendy's is legendary. Their horse meat is so good. I do dig their uh, son of bacon burger. I can't do the whole bacon burger. Or uh, baconator. That's what it is. That uh, oil filter looks pretty crappy. Is that? But that would be listed under that area, right? Why not? Let's pull it. We gotta drain it anyway, so let's pull the oil filter and see if that's what they're talking about. Use equipment. There it goes. Five guys. I've got a five guys in my town. It is absolutely fantastic. You cannot go wrong with five guys. Pulled that out. Let's see what that says. Hey, 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 you guys. We found it. Five guys. Indeed. Fantastic stuff. And their fries. Oh, man. I love their fries. So good. I'm getting hungry now. Chopper. Thank you so much for the compliment. So we've got pretty much everything. Brake caliper, brake disc, brake pads, all this stuff. Looks good. We've got a list of the body stuff. Again, spray the car with the factory paint. We'll see how that goes. Because again, we're right on the cusp of being able to make that happen. And they want $15,000, but we still got to buy parts. But maybe we can sell enough parts to just barely scrape by on this thing. But we still got to remember fluids cost money, so. Let's see how that goes. So make sure our inventory. Yep, we've got all that there. And then make sure our shopping list is clear. Here we go. So we need, and again, let me double check what they wanted. 72%. So obviously we need that oil filter. Clutch plate is a 69. Sometimes you can get away with it. We'll see if we can get away with it. Actually, we can check. 
right here. They say anything about a clutch plate, and they do not. So. I don't think it said anything about gearbox stuff, but we'll find out. We'll go ahead and buy some of the stuff that really needs attention below 72%. We need that. The bumper. Yeah, we might as well buy that now because I saw it mentioned a lot of things about the body. Need the rear sway bar, rear spring. Go ahead and grab that small rubber bushing. Might as well. 75%, 72%. That's cutting it close, but it passes. Let's grab all this. So yeah, this idiot apparently just screwed up mostly that side of the car. And this is out of a different car. Okay, I did not clear my inventory from the last build, so I might be buying duplicate. I think it ended maybe there. Who knows? Well, whatever. It is what it is. My fault for not clearing the inventory. That's the thing. You got to make sure you stay on top of clearing your inventory. So let's buy oil filter so we can clear that so nice having this and having to okay so yeah that we don't need to worry about that right now that's in a different spot oh we just bought that need to clear that out there we go spring cap Rear spring. Shock absorber cap. I'm surprised we have to buy multiple of those. Rear wheel hub. Oh, come on. Sometimes it gets a little... Okay, there. we know we need to buy that. I'm, need, I'm trying to figure out where we... Brick disc. It says two. I think we only need to buy one. I think this is left over from... It wouldn't hurt to buy brake pads anyway. For... Totally rebuilding that side. But then brake caliper, I don't know. Let's go ahead and buy it. Again, I think this is what was left over. We need the race tire. Let me double check. That was for this car. Yeah, so that is true. And the rim 18A, 18 inch. I'll we'll have to jump over here to the tires. It wanted 235-35R18 race tire. 235-35R18. Eighteen. 235. 35. $783 for that tire. That's impressive. Jump over here. And we need a size 18. There we go. Go ahead and put that together before I forget, because I know I will. We might as well balance that. Sorry guys, I haven't been able to look at the chat a whole lot because I'm kind of juggling what's going on here. I haven't missed a super chat, have I? If I have. Yeah, we gotta play this minigame.
grab that. Okay. Let's go ahead and start putting this back together. Come on now. There we go. I want to watch, but your voice makes me so tired. I want to push through it, though. Dude, that's the point. It's kind of a ASMR thing. Just kind of a chill, relaxing thing. That's, uh... Yeah, I could be screaming a lot, but... I don't think anybody would really appreciate that this late at night. This is more just a relaxing thing, dude. Enjoy it. Relax. Fall asleep. No worries, man. It's all good. Sometimes my own voice makes me... <laughs> hearing myself talk. Get this. In link here taken care of. There it is. That one was in tough shape. Small rubber bushing. I'm surprised we're replacing that with a used one. But hey, that's what the customer wants. They just want to get by and get this thing figured out and out the door. And, or not. I mean, t t apparently... Somebody took it out with their dad's consent. Without their dad's consent. There we go. Let's go ahead and build this spring area here. Must have been trying to drift it in the left-hand turn and hit a curb. I've seen many a video where people have been there and done that. And <laughs> done some terrible things. How's this, bo this bearing going? It's 68% and they're going to call it good? Okay. Brick disc. I got a new one there. Pads. New set. Caliper, I think that was new too. Indeed it is. The used cylinder, okay. I'm not the boss. And then we can mount our balanced. We'll go star pattern. And there we go. So that side is done. We still obviously need to do the. So we got the rear suspension arm. An arm B, and I'm guessing that's on this side, and the rubber bushing. So they're not not happy with everything about it because the other side looks fine. So I saw some of that was in the 60% and whatnot. Probably should have made a better note of that. The upper arm. Get to pull this apart again. No big deal. Mullet Man Sean, your videos got me through school last year. Dude, that's so so cool of you to say. Like, think about that. Very humbling. Very, very humbling. So they said this upper arm was shot. They didn't like it. Let's check. Pull it off and then check our inventory. That was 100%. So then maybe they're talking about the other side. So we just got to pull the other side off. Because that didn't look to me like it was in, in bad shape. I mean, it's not like perfect, but... Hey, right? That was in the... Rear suspension arm. Okay, not upper arm. Arm. That's upper arm. Your suspension arm, that was 100%. So maybe this one's bad. Let's go ahead and pull it off. Might as well. See what we're working with. I mean, to me, it looks fine, but... Seventy-two percent, and that what was requested. Seventy-two percent. What am I missing here? <laughs> you can track that parts to see exactly which. One. I know I can highlight it, but I, I feel like that's cheating. I'm not crazy about that idea. Um, I just like having fun, like doing this problem solving. It might be frustrating for you, and I apologize, but it's kind of the fun thing for me, is to like go through this headache because and it, it, you guys that. No, in real life, this is kind of the way it is.
But because I feel like that we could get stuck here, it might not be a bad idea to highlight. All right, well, let's go ahead and put this back together because I don't think this is what they're talking about. And we just need to throw this rim on here. How's everybody doing? Hope things are well. hub on here that hub was definitely shot so it's nice to get that taken care of throw in this wheel bearing brick disc drive axle brick pads caliper and then our rim Oh, didn't go full star. <laughs> okay, so to double check, let's just knock out that oil filter issue right now. Because I do believe I bought that. Get that on there. Yep, 100%. So that's good. Because not a big deal. Rear suspension arm, rear suspension arm B. And spring or no rubber bushing okay fair enough fair enough now let's go ahead and highlight those just to know what we're working with because we did our best to find out the easy way is it over here it's over here okay so they're not happy with the state of condition of that one no big deal we'll grab it Oh, it's not even there. It would help if it was there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 72% still. Let's see. Let's see what they say about it. Somebody probably saw that and was like, okay, you're an idiot, and I would agree with you. It's been a long day. Give me that much. Please give me that much. <laughs> okay, let's see what they say about this now. And rubber bushing is missing. Okay, so it's highlighted. And it is. Okay, we can we can de-highlight the other things. That are highlighted there, there, and there. Right there. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. You can just grab that. Run over here. Go to the car parts. Grab the rubber bushing. We're good to go. In it goes so we should be copacetic on that and we are repair or replace body parts front bumper b left front fender right front fender this is quite a job on this car oil filter oil filter is taken care of we're done oil filter i'll show you we're good there all pretty pretty and new we just haven't put oil in it yet so now, again, checking this, looking at body parts, front bumper B, we don't, well, let's see, let's take it off. They want front bumper, front left fender, front right fender, rear bumper, right headlight B. 
So we gotta pull the fenders. And we got the rear bumper already. What else did they ask for? We got the bump, front bumper, we got the front left fender, right fender, rear bumper, and the headlight. That should be everything they asked for. So now we have, where am I going? Yeah, there we go. So now we have a way to possibly repair this. Repair table body, you don't have the necessary parts, okay. What about over here? Nope. Okay, this is uh, parts off the car, which we will repair those. Because we could probably sell those for some money. Don't have the necessary parts. Actually, what I think it is, we don't have the necessary experience. Because if you go over here, and look for, you need this up here, renovator ability to fix body parts. So we need to work our way up there. Again, we have available skill point seven, so might as well start working our way up there. Go ahead and build that one up. Skill points, for, I, I kind of want to go a balanced way, but it would be very helpful if we can get up there. So this bonus is going to be fixed parts from Google. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. I'd really like to get up there. So we've used those skill points, but we're heading the right direction. So we'll go ahead and make a note that we need to buy from over B, and I've already got all that in my inventory right there, there there and there as well as there and I should have cleared my shopping list rear bumper brick disc we can get rid of that pads caliper tire rim brick disc and I think we're good to go shopping yeah go to the body workstation that we can find. That's body tuning, body work. Oh, choose the car. Okay, now I know. I get it now. There we go. Make sure I have the Mark One. What do I have here? Yeah, FMW Panther Mark One. FMW Panther Mark One. So it won't let me check. Rear bumper B. Confused as being rear bumper. Where do I find rear bumper B? Yeah, that's the car we got, right? Confused. Oh, in performance body parts. Okay, let's check that out. Well, it would make sense because... There it is. Yeah, okay, it makes sense because this thing's been modified. I get it now. Rear bumper B taken care of. But it doesn't let you... Interesting. It doesn't let you click. Clear search, okay. So you have to pull it up. So maybe this is something they're still working on. Left fender, it's not here. Headlight. Left headlight B, Let, yeah, make sure that's the one we need. Front bumper B, that's gonna be this right here. And then we'll go over to the other body parts store and grab the fenders. Makes sense? There we go. We'll see if that works. Let's bring it down, actually. Well, I need to put back in what I took out down here. Before we do that, otherwise it'd be pointless. We just got to put it back up in the air again. 
So we're running with 12,957 credits. So I don't think we're going to be able to respray the thing unless we want to run over to the junkyard. That's not a bad idea, actually. Run over the junkyard, grab something, wash it, do a couple of little things, be able to afford to respray the, or buy the body or the uh, pain booth, then be able to complete this job the way it was requested to us. That's actually probably the best way to go about it. Get this drive shaft put in. Okay, so the drive line, we need to get a starter. There it is. Okay. In you go. All right. That should be good. This car still looks like crap, but. What are you gonna do? There we go. Did they have a license plate for it? Apparently they did. And I think from there, it's just the rear bumper. Okay, so that's still all good. Right headlight B. Somebody, I saw that in the chat, actually. Like, hey. Jump over to. It is what it is. We we learn this way. <laughs> there it is. I'd love to spray it, but man, why would you paint over rust like that? Although, that's what people do sometimes. <laughs> so let's get some info here. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Got to change the oil, obviously. Spray it the factory color. Other task, just fluid stuff. Let's go ahead and knock that out and talk about what we're going to do about, I mean, the only option really is to go flip a piece of crap out of the junkyard, <laughs> try to make a few bucks to be able to afford to paint this thing because we still got to pay for these fluids. So that's done. And they wanted what else? Sorry guys. My brain is not the best. Coolant and windshield reservoir. Got the coolant. And the windshield reservoir. And fill these up. Shield washer fluid in there. Okay. Pretty much done under there. Again, we should only be left with spray car <laughs> factory paint color. Yet again, let's remind ourselves that the paint booth is 15,000 credits and we have 12,607 so we gotta I say we just leave this on the lift run over to the junkyard grab something flip it just real quick might as well right so let's hit the map go to the junkyard and we're gonna drive there and guys I'm gonna take a little bit of a break just a quick bathroom <laughs> bio break. I'll be right back.
Come back, come back, come back. <laughs> oh, there's an Impala over here. Or a, what do they call it? Forget the name. The Bolt Cape. What do they want for it? Uh, they want 12,607 and we have what? Wait, no, that's our credits. <laughs> so we have 12,607. Whoa, swap options. Man, I wish we could build this car, but we just need a flip to be able. Is that really what they want for it? Where's the price? I'm still getting used to this UI. Okay, buy price, 14,000. There we go. That was right in front of my face. 14,000. It's not even in our price range. Can't even buy it. Midnight Rider. Um, working on that BMW. I'm just going to call it what they're supposed to be. So we can't afford that to flip it to be able to paint the FM BMW. <laughs> Nissan Silvia. 14000 again. Out of our price range. Even in that shape. Wah wah. Sad. I just want to be able to paint the FMW. Seems like in the beginning of the game it's kind of slim pickings. Oh, we got something over here. Is that the, uh, oh, what was the name of the El Camino thingy? The Bolt Atlanta, that's right. 5,990, okay, so we can do I think enough to flip that thing out of here to be able to paint the, oh, we've got the, uh, what's this one? Obviously inspired by the GTO, uh, like judge style front bumper and everything. The Chieftain TBX, 15th out, out of our price range once again. Heartbreaking, because that would be a fun one to do. But again, we're not quite at the point where we can completely restore you. I'm not seeing anything back here. Sometimes there's a car sitting right here next to this like Mercury-inspired thing here. I think our best bet is to go with that other... Oh, no. <laughs> we're not going to be able to afford this. But it's cool that we found it. Tempest Magnum. 11th. Oh, we can. But then it's going to cost us a thousand dollars to do the welding and then any repair that we can and really what I'd like to do with this is restore it not just flip it off flip it off <laughs> not just flip it for a profit on a quick welding job and a wash so I think what we're gonna do is run oh what do we got here this is like the little uh, Chevy citation type thing the Salem Flamo Six thousand nine hundred ninety-eight. It's pretty complete though compared to the other one. No, well, maybe it's not. No, it's not really not. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do better. The other, I can't even remember now. Dallas, what's with all the numbers? I'm missing something here apparently. The Bolt Atlanta buy it take it to the garage and we will head back to the garage return to garage except Dallas what's up man what's up with that all these numbers <laughs> okay, I love that it's on the bricks. I love that they've added that. Okay, let's move the car. Let's go ahead and wash it. Oh yeah, I should fix and sell the old parts. Good call.
I wish there was kind of a mini game for like washing the cars. They had mini games for the other stuff. That would have been cool. Somebody did something. Kingslayer. Hey, just wanted to say hi. I remember when all you had was 5,000 subs. You have grown so much. Congrats. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. The reason I've grown that way is because of you. Because of people like you. I appreciate it very much. Oh, was that the point, Dallas? Is just to get shouted out? That's kind of a sneaky way to go about it. But whatever. All right, so we'll take this. Uh, you feel you feel better about yourself, Kingslayer. You should feel very good about yourself. Because you, any little bit of money that goes that, that comes through, goes right back into the channel. I promise you, it does. Because it's not necessarily cheap sometimes. When I just had a stick of RAM go out. That was annoying because I run uh, two 16 gig. It's cheaper than it originally was when I first bought it, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, I never know some of these things. Okay, so I'll just grab the. So let's see what we're working with here. So we, I forget what we bought it for. Let's see value. So profit so far is 1,696. So that's good. So we can throw the welder at it. And make even more. Yep. I love the new animation for the welder. It's so cool. Okay, so move you back. Hey, you know you could have done a super chat and it would have <laughs> you would have been able to would have been very easy. Okay, so now let's take a look. Three thousand seven hundred and then, again, we can go fix... Maybe we can fix this. Let's grab this fender. Head over here and see what we can repair. So, any body... Okay, don't have necessary parts. Uh, but I think over here, I can still do... Oh... Got close. I mean, it was still success, but I was hoping to hit, hit the middle. And, ah, oh, fail. Total fail. Success there. It's a nice window. Okay, so at least we repaired some stuff. So that's good. We still need to put the fuel pump in. Where's the, where's the FMW? Oh, I sent the FMW. That's right. You need to come back in here. Where'd you go? Where's the FMW? There you are. Oh, yeah. You're in the car wash. Okay. Not sure how you ended up over here. You've already been here. Lifter 2. Okay, so we know we need to put the fuel pump back in the FMW, I believe. There we go. We were able to repair it, so that's good. Okay. So back over here. Go ahead and grab the. The XP here. This one had a supercharger on it. This would have been a fun one to build if I had the money to do it. Be great. Yeah, this thing is a little bit rough, but not too bad. This would have been a fun one to build. We'll get there. We'll get there soon. This is how we do it.
I feel bad about that, given that was that Cameron guy I shot. <laughs> I didn't mean to give him a shout out. I was wondering why the hell he was putting all that. Clever. I'll give him that much. Clever. But you don't need to do all that to get a shout out. I guess that's his deal. It's his thing. Whatevs. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So we can take this. And essentially, just flip it out for $3,697 worth of profit. I'd love to build it, but hey, we're not there yet. Except... So now, let's run over here. So we're now 15,675. Are you serious? Are we going to be able to afford to paint that car? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so that didn't bring us as much profit as I thought. Yeah, I think uh, CMS 2021 is definitely worth it for sure. Okay, let's just do it just for peace of mind because I really don't want to get stuck and then have to start a new game, save game, or save profile. Let's have head over to the junkyard and grab one more if we can. Mullet man, he just wanted you to say hi, wanted to sleep. All right, well, yeah, I get it. Sell parts, yeah, but I don't want to sell all the parts that are in my inventory right now because some of it, I think, still needs to go to the FMW. Although, yeah, I can't check inventory here. I think I put everything back that I needed to, actually, so it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But still. It's worrisome that if I sell off the wrong part. Then I can't afford to paint anything, and then I can't afford to get the part back, so. Oh, here we've got, like, what, a Civic Hatch type knockoff thingy? The Katagari Tama Tamago. Let's get down to what matters. Buy the car. Except, put it in the garage, and then let's head to said garage. Except... We need to put this in the lifter A position. Actually, let's send it over to car wash. Might as well. Get this thing clean. Start with the interior this time. I do like this part. I do like the, the hustling type thing. And I mean, in real life, that would suck selling off turds to other people, but maybe they'll make it work. Maybe they'll fix it. Uh, send this car over to lift A. Then we'll take the welder. Yep. Use 500 credits to make it much better than it was. What's even left under here? Hardly anything. Wow. Yeah, not much of nothing under there. And we should be able to flip this thing. Not, not a symbol mode. There we go. $1,689 worth. Let's go ahead and sell it. I know I'm missing some things here and there, but I'm trying to be quick about it. Again, we can buy the paint booth. We're now at 15, yeah, it's $15,000. We're at 16873 Let's do it. Hope I'm not painting, <laughs> literally painting myself into a corner, but now we have it. And where is it? That's what I'm curious about. Oh, is it outside somewhere? 
let's send the car and maybe it will take us there with it. I know I don't have to drop it, but. Feels satisfying to do it. Move the car to paint shop. And we are here. Paint the car and it said factory color. That's what they wanted. A thousand credits for $873 left. Wow, we're really cutting it close to the bone here, guys. Okay, let's send you back. Let's go outside with it because I believe the order is done now. Even though it looks like a turd. Okay, so that's all in the green. So is that. So is that. So is that. And so is that. Finish the order. 11,000... And 41 bucks. Was that worth it? Uh, yeah, I mean, we bought the, we, we were able to buy the paint booth, which is huge. I'd like to go see where that is. Just so I can get used to the lay of the land around here. So yeah, that's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So there's the car wash. The paint booth up here. This is, oh yeah, paint booth. All right, cool. That's pretty rad. I dig how they do that. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing this in the uh, demo, like how this is laid out like an actual, and they use a scale just like that in, in real life. When I when I go get paint for my car, because I paint my own cars, uh, the classic cars that I restore and build uh, for myself, that's how they do it. They'll go get, so like say you come to them and you want, for like for my 1961 Ford F100, um, I told him I wanted a Volkswagen color, a, a, a mid-50s Volkswagen color called uh, Dove Blue. And they compute it into their little computer, and it tells them which one of these to grab. And then they get a new can, like something like this, and they put it on here. And then they take little bits of it. You see it's got a handle and a little trigger there. And they put little bits into the new can, going by this certain very digital crazy how they it's amazing how they do it it's all mathematics and uh going by weight of which color like red weighs more than uh white and it's crazy how it all works it's all like mathematically done and then yeah you get you they end up using like maybe six seven eight of these to get the color that you want and then you go for a gallon of it i paid 718 dollars 718 dollars for a gallon of color and that's the way it is automotive paint is very 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 expensive in real life I do not have a paint booth but I do not need one I just set up a little booth in my garage with using uh, drop cloth or drop plastic and it works very well so it's cool I I, I do dig it because I am familiar with when I go get paint for my cars, that's exactly how it's done. And I'm impressed that they implemented it into the sim. That is very cool. I really wish this rollback right here was drivable. I'd love to drive that. I'd take this thing around the speed track. That'd be a ton of fun. Dallas came back and apologized. Dallas, no, dude, I wasn't trying to throw shade at you. I wasn't trying to be mean. I'm just saying there's other ways to go about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I apologize back to you. This is this is a place of love. This is a place that I, I I'm sorry if I made you feel otherwise. Hopefully you're still around. I'd love to have you around. I, it's not that I don't want you know. It's just <laughs> there's different ways to go about it. Maybe I felt a bit a bit salty that you tricked me. Maybe that's what it was, and that's okay. Just means you you found a clever way. Hats off to you.
Yeah, I've been hearing uh, some uh, some cards are not worth the rebuild sometimes. I think the Sayon Flamo is a perfect example of that. I've been hearing that the electric cars bring some good money. He went back to sleep. Well, he might come back and watch the live stream. I leave these live streams up, so. I don't want him to feel bad. <laughs> now I feel bad, <laughs> but he doesn't feel bad. But if he's able to sleep, then that's good. I feel good about that. Hi, Luzon Gaming. L I W Z O N. I'm trying to figure out. We've only got 11,000, but we've opened up the paint shop, which is good. I'm excited to use this. <laughs> I've got a leftover brick disc. Nice. That's so cool. And it's not unlike what it's like in real life, but usually there's not a lot of sparks and there's like little curly Q pieces of steel that go down there. That's cool. Now, what did we restore it back to? Oh, we got a case. That's cool. So do we restore it back to 100%? I don't know. I need to clear out my inventory. Well, actually, let's open this case, then clear out the inventory. Yes, let's open the case. Accept. Let's go here and there. That'll work. I don't really use the scrap at all. It just is what it is. And I think we're good to clear all this. Actually, let's just go ahead and go here and then sell. 886 bucks, bringing us to 11,927. Cynical gamer, happy to have you. Yeah, I didn't announce this live stream. I just felt like going live. Like, eh, why not? Let's go for it. Let's make it happen. Dallas, you're still here. Okay. I, I, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad, brother. It's all peace and love here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it made you feel that way. Glad to have you back. The scrap is for upgrading parts. Yeah, I know. And I don't have that part, the, that area yet, which is back here. And you can unlock this, but I don't see why it's going to be helpful right now. I mean, I could be wrong. So. I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. I just kind of focus on this kind of stuff in here. I'm really excited to get this opened up. Let's go grab something out of the junkyard, build a little more capital again. Let's see if we can grab something. At a decent price. It's like an Evo looking thing over there. Out of our price range. Oh, and here we have a a Mako Shark Corvette. Eleven thousand four hundred. We wouldn't be. That's close. We could we could afford to buy it, but we couldn't afford to do a thing with it except for wash it. This is what a three fifty Z kind of thing. Three seventy, three fifty. Okay, so they want. 9,000. Okay. Let's do that. Gamble on this. Put it back in the garage. 
Return to garage. Yes. I did buy something. Why does it say continue garage without something to buy? I already bought something. A car. It's rough. In real life, I really do like these. 350s and 370s. Move you over to the car wash. Do some interior detailing. Yes, and then wash the car. There we go. Still looks rough, but better than it did. Oh, I meant to put it on the lift. There you go. Make a couple bucks here. Spend some money to make some money. Oh, I'd really love to build this car out because I love these things. This would be a fun one. How am I doing on skill points? Four. What's this cost? That costs five. I'd love to get up there to repair body parts because I feel like that's where we can make a lot of money. All right. Over here. Profit 2,684. Go ahead and do that. Now we got a little bit of capital. 14,111. Not too bad. Check. If there's anything cool here. We already did a creeper van last live stream. Already did an FMW. We just did that. Ooh. Echoes, Ecos, Echoes, Cobra, Venom, other tasks is all it says. And again. Well, that one's Venom. This one's just Cobra. Something special about that one, apparently. It's, uh, well, we gotta take it. Might as well. It's some sort of special car. And, oh, gross. <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Well, to each their own. Wow, that's... Mm. Okay. <laughs> that's one way to paint a car. Let's take a look. They want refill coolant, refill power steering. That's it. That can be done. We can do that. I really wish we could repaint your car. But it's just me. Pull out the coolant. What else do they want? I should be paying better attention. Coolant and power steering. Okay, that's what I thought it was. There we go. In goes the power steering. Yeah, it's totally a Viper ripoff type thing. Here's a hint I'm played by Jerry Reed. Jerry Reed. I'm a fan of Jerry Reed. Eastbound down. Loaded up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can be done. Good stuff. Apparently that's all we need on this order. That's it. Wonder what our profit is. 52 bucks. <laughs> well, it really didn't take a lot. Although in fluid we used, so yeah, I think we made like 10 bucks. All right, it is what it is. It took us a few minutes. Again, no creeper van. We already just did that car. The Starline music. Oh, okay. Well, you know. 
That one's boring. Oh, we got an electric car. Let's go ahead and do the electric car. It's kind of a poop color, but that's whatever. I'm not here to judge, apparently, but I, I guess I am. It really is just a Tesla. They they were not coy about it. I mean, maybe they just thought Tesla wouldn't come after them about this. But yeah, it's straight up Tesla. I mean, even the center screen and everything. Although that one has gauges right there. So I guess that's the difference. Okay. And what do we have in the front? Nothing. Yeah, really not much. So let's go ahead and do our inspection. Might as well grab the XP for that. Never hurts. Probably should have done it on the other cars, but eh, what? Whatever. Give us module suspension. Yeah, that's an ugly color, Emperor. I, I agree. That's not one I would choose. Man, I got it hard on my video upload yesterday about the green on that Corvette. The only thing is, I wanted white, but I've done so many cars white. I felt like it was going to get stale just doing another white car. But yeah, the, the green on the C8 did not go over well. I get it. It makes sense. It's not a color you see on one of those. No love lost. It is what it is. James Johnson, you hate electric vehicles. Eh, well, I mean, torque on demand is cool. Yeah, I think that's all right. It's kind of cool, too, that they're built, uh, or Teslas, built in the U.S., but under what, under what kind of, you know, work conditions? Eh, I don't know. I've heard things. They are gaining popularity, though. Although, I'm, I'm a guy that likes to take road trips, and I like to go more than 300 miles. And I know there's quick charges. You can do 15-minute charge to get another 180 miles. But what does that do to the battery? I mean, long term. Seems like that would hurt the battery. Just cramming it full of neutrons to be able to align the... Or to cramming it full of electricity to align the neutrons over and over and over. And it just seems like it causes a lot of problems. So, they want... Car does not start well. Hook up the wires, maybe. Knocking sound coming from suspension. Brake system needs fixing. Okay, well. Car does not start. Can we pull the battery out? <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't run a regular battery, would it? Yeah, the self-driving. Well, I guess you don't have to turn that on. I've rode in a few Teslas, and I've never had anybody put the self-driving on. Yeah, the electric... What's funny is the electric car precedes the gasoline car. Electric cars uh, were more popular prior to gasoline cars in the 1800s. Going in, it's a cool bit of uh, history if you ever want to look it up. Um, electric cars were first, and then gasoline cars came in, and they found out that gasoline was a lot easier to come by because back in the turn of the century, uh, not everybody had electricity. And then everybody went to gasoline, and it, it just kind of stayed that way. But yeah, electric cars were... Pretty much first, the horseless carriage, they called it electric horseless carriage, and then came gasoline cars. So it's kind of funny to see this shift, and it's not that we're shifting to electric cars totally, 
I mean, I think the future is going to be kind of what we're seeing, the hybrid type stuff. Uh, high miles per gallon, like, you know, four, four and six cylinder type stuff. I mean, the amount of gas mileage you're getting out of those now is impressive. And you don't have to mine lithium to be able to... You, if you want to look into it, it's a whole... If you guys want to look into it, mining lithium to make the batteries for Teslas and whatnot, it's controversial. But I digress. Let's get back to the, <laughs> the job at hand here. Yeah, um, you did not know that. Yeah, they, they, they were... Electric cars were big, big thing back in the late 1800s and into the early 1900s. But not everybody, again, yeah, not everybody had access to electricity. Now California is going to be 100% electric by 2030. 35 well I've got my reservations about that <laughs> I doubt it but I mean if the again you got to think if you're gonna cram all that okay so all that electricity is gonna power your cars well where are they gonna get the electricity from something's got to give somewhere okay I'm getting <laughs> getting way off topic on this car Car does not start. We need to figure that out. I'm guessing possibly. Did we check the fuse box? There we go. Okay, so that's all right. Let's run our diagnostics on the car. At least as much as we can. Oh, there we go. Let's run to the back. Makes it easier for me this way. There we go. Now we can run diagnostics. Run our OBD2. ABS module is bad. I'm guessing that's part of the braking problem they're reporting. Good to know. In our multimeter. What car is this? This is the essentially the Tesla Model S. One thing I do dig about Tesla is they are. I mean, sorry to be a fanboy here. They are American made, so that's kind of cool. That's the thing is they talk about uh, <laughs> some of these. In America, some of these guys blocking Tesla charging stations uh, because they're a threat to 4x4 pickups. Well, you're trying to hurt an American car company. <laughs> you're trying to, you're hurting a car company. Okay, the stator is in bad shape. Front sway bar in link, no big deal. ABS module. We'll get to the brake system first, but we need to find the stator. Where is the stator? Again, this is new. Because I know a stator on my motorcycle controls the spark. I can already see that that caliper is shot right there. But I know for me, the stator helps supply spark. Yeah, Ford, Chevy, and Dodge are now making electric trucks. The, the really cool thing about electric trucks, and I know, I'm again, I'm not huge on the whole electric thing. I think it's cool. I just don't see it being feasible for everybody to have... I don't think the grid could support everybody. Again, I'm not trying to be political at all. I don't have a political game in this like idea here. But uh 
One very cool thing about electric trucks is torque on demand. You, you imagine like pulling your boat out from a boat slip, pull it right up the boat slip, immediate torque. Just drag it right up there, no problem. That's pretty cool. The idea of that is pretty cool. Now, implementation, we're gonna find out how well it's implemented. Where the heck is the stator? Just pull it apart. Why not? I mean, it's gotta be somewhere in here. Because the stator for my motorcycles is in the engine. It's usually hanging off the side, but still. I've never pulled one of these electric engines apart, so why not? It'll be fun for all of us. Yeah, I don't want to highlight it from the list. I like I like the hunt for the, the problem. I, I get it. I appreciate the comment, but... I like to be able to kind of... Okay, so I'm guessing it's probably in here. Inverter. Charging junction box. Maybe not in here. Converter. Link capacitor. Wow. See, I haven't gotten this in depth on this yet. This is really cool. Can you imagine you could probably get the piss shocked out of you by doing this stuff? If I was to do it in real life, I'd probably be dead by now. That's cool though. Again, I'm not trying to say I'm political one way or another. I've got no dog in the fight of electric cars versus gasoline. It is what it is. I know it's a hot topic, or it can be. Everything these days, everything now is a hot topic. Port. Okay, that, that's a little worn out, so maybe that's telling me something down here. Maybe? AC compressor. Accessible from underside. So are we good here? Are we good? Nothing to grab from the... Oh, something highlighted green. There we go. From then housing. For me, again, working on a stator on my motorcycle is a lot easier than all of this. It's cool though, I've never pulled one of these apart this far, so this is fun. This is more of an adventure. There's the stator. There's the stator. That makes sense because that's the rotating mass that charges the stator. Just like on a motor, okay. Accessible from under the car. Makes total sense now. If you know, okay, so that, that goes into, some people talk about, will this teach me how to work on cars? Will this game teach me how to work on cars? And it will give you a good a general idea. But my again, my best advice that I've told so many people is get go look on Facebook marketplace or Craigslist or whatever and find like a crappy old uh, motorcycle, crappy old lawnmower, go-kart, whatever, and rebuild it. You'll find out things like, like I just was, I've never worked on an electric car in my life, but I know what a stator is from working on my motorcycles because it, it centers around a rotating mass that creates an electrical charge that then char that, and then um, for motorcycles, it works, it works differently than this does, obviously. But it had me in the right mindset to know where it might be and what it is. And if it were in real life, then, you know, that's what it is. So, yes, uh, this game definitely gets uh, the question again. I get over and over. Will this get me uh, be able to work on cars? Yes, it will. But I definitely recommend going and grabbing and restoring. And then you can flip them. 
like a flipping old, uh, you know, you find a Facebook marketplace for a lawnmower that doesn't run and you get it running and you can flip it for, you make money. You start making money like that and then you start learning how to do all this. Uh, then you move up to motorcycles and then flip those and then you get into cars for a while. Look up mechanic special on Facebook and buy some of those. It needs transmission. We'll put a new transmission in it. Flip it, make a couple grand, and then you get to the point where, like, I what I get to do is restore classic cars. That's exactly how I got. How exactly? I'm mean, not kidding. That's exactly how I was able to do it. So to be able to get the stator out. Sorry, I was <laughs> kind of going on for a while, but I get that question a lot. To be able to get the stator out, apparently I have to pull. Like it looks like all this stuff is connected, so. Let's pull the rear wheels and tires. I think we're going to find out where that braking problem is. Because we already pulled that. Yeah, that, those calipers. Or not calipers, those brake shoes are bad. But I think it wanted us to pull these drive axles. Go ahead and do that. Jump over to the other side, do the same. There we go. Get that out of there. And again, that caliper shot. Those pads don't look too bad. And we're gonna pull this drive axle here. It's like a little electric transaxle they got going on here. Can we pull the stator yet? No. We gotta pull that. Which apparently we gotta pull the gearbox. Get that out of the way. Now we can pull the rotor out. In the stator. So we should be at a point. Stator. Come on now, right? That's the, it was bad. We pulled it. Go ahead and pull this off. I mean that was it. Stator Proton <laughs> ER. Well, that's. I'm confused because those brake calipers were bad too. Got the ABS module, obviously bad. Stator Proton ER, just like it said. Maybe we, maybe we found a little bug here. Because it should tell me... Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Never mind. I get it now. <laughs> Guys, sorry. It's been a long day. Okay, so it does tell us. I'm just... Lost on the 64%. Okay. Stator. 64. So we're really. Doing pretty good as far as all this goes. ABS module. Get rid of this stuff here. I should have got rid of that already. That's going to be under electronics, I'm sure. As most of this is going to be. That's really not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. 527. Need to grab a pair of brake calipers. We'll just jump over here real quick. Only one set of brake pads? Okay. 
And the ABS module is going to be over back over here. I think it's, yep, right there. Buy that part, clear it out of our shopping list. Go about our repair. I'm going to take care of the, well, I guess, yeah. Well, we'll drop it here in a minute and I'll take care of the ABS that way. Dark brick pads. Caliper. Actually, after I do the caliper, I want to take care of the rebuilding of the motor. Get our new stator in there. Here to the gearbox. Do I think I can? <laughs> I pooped myself. Sorry, that got me good. That's my kind of humor. Um, do I think I could ever get behind electric, an electric classic? Basically, that's what I saw. Sorry, I. It's hard for me to read. Oh uh, yeah. There's that Mustang. Oh God, what's it called? You have to look it up. Electric Mustang on YouTube. That thing is insane. It's a vintage Mustang too. 67 or eight. It's like 1100 horsepower or something. Instant torque. Yeah, I I, I could get behind it. I would love to. <laughs> would love to have that much torque on demand. That'd be cool. Um, but no, it's hard to replace a V8. Again, I'm neutral on the subject. I mean, I, I dig it. There's pros and cons on each side. And that's coming from a guy that restores classic cars and uh, loves his V8s, but as I totally see the merit in electric cars and have a lot of fun uh, riding around in those too. So there's, I, I think there's a dichotomy. There's a problem where so many people think we're going one, one way or the other. It's, it's either going to be this or it's going to be that it's uh, long. It's not going to happen in our lifetime that everything's going to be a hundred percent electric. I guarantee you. It's just not going to happen where you have no option of a, a petrol or a gasoline engine vehicle. It's just not going to happen. But, you know, the way they make it sound, you know, there's those talking points that get people riled up about this, that, and the other thing. Uh, you know. It's just not going to happen. It's We've been running gasoline engines for well over 100 years. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Not going away anytime soon. And electric cars... We've been running electric cars even way before gasoline engines. Uh, so it's just, it is what it is. It's just, it, it's, it's continuing what it used to be. It's just progressing in, in uh, more progressive ways, uh, saving more gas as far as being more, um, you know, fuel efficient, things like that. And that's all good stuff. We're getting there, you know, we're working on it. Nothing to be, it's not going anywhere. One or the other is not getting knocked out. There's a lot to love about both. So I'm I'm one of the guys, I'm chill about it. I don't really care. It is what it is, it's happening. Um, maybe, like I care about some of the stuff that I read about, uh, the right to, to repair. That I'm getting a little concerned about where they kind of lock you out of your own car now. Um, a lot of the farmers know what I'm talking about. Uh, or They're dealing with it now. They lock you, like John Deere. They're locking farmers out of their own tractors so that the only way to get to repair them is to take it to a John Deere dealer. Whereas if you know farmers, screw that. They're, they're <laughs> farmers are, are far more most likely far more fit to f repair their own tractor than some 
grease monkey working at uh and, and nothing against repair technicians quote unquote at a tractor dealership but i guarantee you that farmer wants to repair his own tractor rather than have some kid do it again nothing against that kid I'm just saying so the right to repair stuff, I'm more concerned about that, being locked out of your own vehicle, than anything else. Than anything electric. Or any of that stuff. Okay, how are we doing? Did I just stir up some controversy? I'm going to look at the chat for a minute. <laughs> I didn't mean to stir up com controversy, if so. Yeah, Wyatt, you bring up a good point. How are you going to do the logistics? Okay, so a lot of a lot of these farmers... Okay, I live in the Midwest where... I live amongst farmers and stuff, and, and they say the John Deere dealer is probably... Could be 80, 90, 120 miles away from their farm, and then they got to somehow figure out how to get a combine from their farm to the John Deere dealer to be able to get that repaired... Because John Deere has locked them out of their own tractor to be able to repair it. That's that's what that's what farmers are dealing with now, and that's what's scary to me is because I feel like that's what car owners are going to be dealing with very shortly, because that's happening, and it sucks. Dallas, have you ever seen a Ford F one hundred unibody? You're trolling me again. <laughs> you know that I own two of them. I own a 1961 and a 1962. You know that. You wouldn't have asked me otherwise. Yeah, Layla, it's a long time before we go full electric. A long, long time. We won't see it in our lifetime. I guarantee you. We will not see full electric in our lifetime. Like, I like electric. I like the idea of it. It's just not... We're not going to be able to implement it full scale. I don't think... Again, in our lifetime. I just don't think it's going to happen. You own a 1961 Unibody Dallas. As do I. <laughs> Give me one moment. I'll be right back, guys. A little bathroom break. Talk amongst yourselves. Be civil. Be lovely. Cletus, I'll answer a couple more before I go use the bathroom real quick. What do I think will happen in the future? Is going to be more of a hybrid thing going instead of all battery. That's exactly where I am, Cletus exactly what I think is going to happen. I think that we've hit a good balance on the hybrid kind of thing, and I think it's working well. And and I think that's been proven. Yep, when the world goes full electric, we probably won't be around anymore to see it. Exactly, Layla. You're exactly right. Dallas, I love my unibody, but I just don't have the money to finish the restoration on mine. Tell me more about it, Dallas. I'd be interested in that, because, again... I own two unibody F100 pickups, 1961, 1962. That's kind of my jam. History question for Madacaster. Aaron, I do enjoy. I do enjoy. <laughs> I do enjoy diesel engines very much. America runs on diesel engines. We wouldn't have our. Wouldn't have our. Uh, Deliveries on time if it weren't for diesel engines. Gotta 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 love those. But yeah, just a good old Cummins. Or any I, I still Power Strokes, Cummins. Um Duramax, all that stuff. I dig them. 
Of course, Cummins. Top of the mountain, if you ask me. In my opinion. James Johnson, I'm going to hit the head real quick. Ask your, if you got a history question, ask it. I'll be right back. What year they made the prototype water car? I do not know. Today's version would be what hydropower? Um, man, I don't know. That's a good question. I do not know the year. But they were doing some crazy stuff with cars back back in the turn of the century and, and kind of before that. Yeah, Cletus, you know, Cletus Snow. I get it now, Cletus Snow. Eastbound and down, you must be loaded up and trucking. You're going to do what they say can't be done. I should get back to work here. <laughs> I keep paying attention to the chat. Not that that's bad, but I'm trying to keep on track of what. Okay, car does not start. We got the stator. Sway bar front end link B. Wheel hub bearing. The brake system, we got that figured out. The ABS module and part not discovered. So it looks like we got some front end stuff as well here. That caliper looks in rough shape. I wonder if that's the part not discovered yet. We're talking about a sway bar in link. There it is right there. 
rough shape. Sway bar front end link B, wheel hub bearing. Let's check this one real quick. Because it looks like this might be the problem side. Pull that one off. No, it's 77%. Let's grab this one over here. Spray our little magic spray. Pull that out of there. Get that out of there. There we go. So the fastener going to that shock assembly is rusty, but I'm not too worried about that. But I'm guessing maybe that wheel hub bearing issue is right here. No, that's at 74%. Oh, brake pads. We ended up finding what that was. Okay, let's run back here and check these bearings. Apparently we got a, a bad bearing. But this was the rear drive line. So this wouldn't have a bearing. It's got a rear drive axle. Or does it? No, it does. It does. 77%. I don't know why I didn't think it didn't have a bearing. All wheels have bearings. Come on now. Pull that. There we go. There's our culprit, I bet. 10%. There it is. Okay. So now we know. As far as our inventory goes. So we can replace that wheel bearing. That in link brake pads caliper in the module. The ABS module is going to be over here in the electric, so we can buy that part now. Clear that out. And everything else is going to be over in the regular car part section. Buy that part. Clear out. In link by you. Clear that out. Brake pads as well. And a caliper. Surprise is only one. Neither one of them looked great, but I guess customer is always right. They want what they want, so. Let's get this all mounted back in. Get that wheel hub bearing in there. And the drive axle. In you go. It's gonna go star pattern, but the mouse said otherwise. So we're good on that side. Get that bearing in. Drive axle. Back here is looking good. I think I did just buy an ABS module a few minutes ago, but I that's the thing, I get so wrapped up in chat that I forget about forget where I was. But I like talking to you guys. That's the thing, is like uh when you start doing commentary while you're trying to concentrate on playing, while you're trying to concentrate on chat, it kind of gets all over the place. So I see why they invented Super Chat. So you can kind of, it's like, it's not that I, I'm trying to ignore you guys. I, seriously, I'm not. But, you know, you kind of have to like try to think about what you're... <laughs> oh, no. I want to mount parts. See, right there. I'm talking and then it made me... <laughs> 
see yeah case in point put that dust cap on brake pads caliper well let's be honest Google probably invented super chat to make money where'd that in link I think it went on the other side didn't it We need to mount that right there. And it's not to say that you guys are distracting. Certainly not the case. Okay, got that. We got that. ABS module. That's right. Bring you down. Yep, two brand new ABS modules. At least I'll make money back, half my money back, selling it back. Let's look at my inventory here. I don't need any of this. And double check my shopping list is clear. All right, this car. We gotta go drive it. Move you. Entrance A. This poop colored Tesla. It's probably a little bit fun to drive, right? Let's take it to. I wish they had like the, I'm sure they'll come up with it with the workshop maps, but to be able to have an open place just to just rip on a car hard. But yeah, let's take it to the, uh, the racetrack, screw around with it. Yes, Emperor, we're driving the turd mobile. And all its turdness. Here we go. <laughs> A little chirp. Oh, it is twitchy. I just threw on the e-brake for fun. I'll do that from outside. E-brake. <laughs> oh, there we go. It won't do a proper donut. It just wants to hook. E-brake. Yeah, it won't even, doesn't even like to slide. Yeah, see, that's the problem with the electric cars. It's, there's no fun noises. Jesus. But lots and lots of torque. This one doesn't have it. The Roadster electric car that they have has tons of power. Okay, we're going to call that good. It's got a Missouri plate, so we'll go with Missouri. Why not? Back to the garage. Yeah, Ellis, it does look like poop. I love Teslas, too. I do dig them. All right. But I, that's not to say... I, I mean, I'm a guy that owns a 1931 5-window coupe and classic cars. I, I love I love all cars. That's the thing. I love all cars. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Can you tell me... A, maybe... Oh, what's one that's gone wrong? Hard for me to... 
I bet you guys could help me out on that one. There's ones that have failed, Edsel and whatnot, but I wouldn't say they went wrong. All right, so we should be good to go on this car. Fixed everything they asked. Got a couple little bonuses there. Total payout. 2,579 bucks. Finish order. Yeah, we're definitely making more money off the flipping the junkyard stuff for sure. Let me make sure I save that. Yeah, all that work for that much money. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of work. It was just like finding stuff that needed to be taken care of. Dallas, did you ever have to replace the engines in your F100s or do you still have the original engines? I put modular V8s in both of my F100s. 4.5 liters Ford modular V8. Runs and drives like a modern car, but it looks like a 60s truck. What's up, Caleb? I'm just here chilling. Now I'm reading the chat. Because it's been going back and forth. Now I'll just take a break and read the chat. Yeah, I'm good at making it look like a whole lot of work. You're telling me because I do it the wrong way every time. But that's how I learn. That's how, <laughs> how I gain XP. Just figure go through and make a huge pain out of it, right? Layla, thank you so much for chilling. I appreciate it. Loved having you here. Gas or electric? You, you are you asking me both? I like both. You seriously, Dallas? You seriously have a, a unibody F one hundred? I thought you might have been trolling me again or having fun with me again, because <laughs> that's what I have on my other channel. That I'm rest I've restored one and restoring another. Because if you do, they fit perfectly over the framing running the frame and running gear of a Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. And that's what I've done with both of mine. All covered on my other YouTube channel. Thank you, Layla, so much. Truly appreciate you having you here. As goes for every one of you.
why it says my grandpa got a really bad motorcycle wreck when I was 10, so I don't have any dirt bikes, but going from my second gen to a tractor is simple. Yes, tractors are a great way too. That's a that's actually an excellent way to learn because I have had a Ford 89N or 9N tractor that I helped restore. Tractors are great because they're like waist level or higher so you, you don't have to like contort yourself underneath a bunch to work on them to get parts off and on and stuff and they're cool they're just cool Well, Dallas, if you want to do a frame swap on your F100 unit body, then you know the channel to go watch. I've done it on one and doing it on another. Nothing runs like a deer. I'm right in the middle of John Deere country, I'll tell you that much. I live in a town with a John Deere plant in it. I see a lot of John Deeres going out on diesel trucks, heading out to who knows where every day <laughs> when I drive around this town. Big old combines. All the way down to... Well, I think the smallest thing they make is like the... Uh, In my town, the smallest thing they make is the, um, oh, what do you call it, the sprayers. Yeah, John Deere's are expensive. My opinions on a lowrider, I, I, I dig them. You do you. Some of those lowriders, um... Some of those guys, especially like SoCal lowriders, or even uh, you get into Oakland and, and San Francisco, that, that the Bay Area lowriders, those guys with their paint jobs are, it's absolutely incredible. The artist, just unbelievable what they can do with their paint jobs, the candies, and then the, all the like the lace and all the craziness that it's incredible. Like, it's just Stops you in your tracks to see it in real life what they can do with paint jobs with those low riders and then be able to fit all the hydraulics and everything in there. I do appreciate it, I think it's really cool. Yoda knows what's up. That's the other channel, <laughs> River City, City River. City River, spin it around. River City, that's my YouTube channel. Where, if you want to see my IRL restoration of cars, and right now two trucks, well the truck, one truck's pretty much done, the other truck's about done. I've got, and then I've got a 1931 Model A coupe that's coming up next, and a 1966 Mustang convertible coming up after that. That I'll be doing on that channel as well. Not near. As successful as this channel is the gaming channel. <laughs> Husqvarna, Husqvarna mowers are better. And funny, I actually own a Husqvarna mower. Why, why am I giving so much myself away? <laughs> no worries, Yoda. You're good. We're just winding down here. I think that's going to do it for tonight as far as the car builds. So if you guys are waiting for another car, you guys can go ahead and head over to another channel or something. Just wanted to be honest with you. We're just winding down, just kind of hanging out in the chat.
Yeah, Dallas, no doubt. I'm going to be doxing myself next thing I know. Do I have any animals? I have three dogs. And keep in mind these live chats, I'm or live chats, these live videos, I'm gonna be leaving them up on the under the live tab. So if you guys want to catch up or check out older ones on how we got to where we are. Again, I'm stoked about this expansion of this garage over here. Again, I've kept myself away from watching too many YouTube videos about this game. So I you know, this is all new to me, so I'm stoked about it. I've read about it when it was uh, in demo mode because you could kind of come in here and see things, but you couldn't mess with them. So in the demo, I saw this stuff. It's nice to be able to own it now. That's cool. At least say more and deadlier dogs so they're <laughs> scared a lot for you. Yeah, they well they do. Man, if if anything goes on outside, yeah, they go nuts. Trust me, I wake up about three, four times a night. <laughs> and I go look out the windows. Not paranoid, but they bark, I check. I'm not going to tell you what kind of dogs I have because if I tell you I had like three, like, uh, what, like, uh, Bichon Frises or Chihuahuas, then, then it's open season on Madacaster's house, right? <laughs> it's definitely not the dogs I have. Later, Jack. Happy to have you around. Right on, Logan. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking it slow, just kind of enjoying the, the grind. That's one of my favorite things about these simulation games is just kind of the grind. I really, maybe I'm a glutton for punishment, but I do enjoy the grind. It's fun for me. Just kind of like get in there, grind, have some fun. I don't want to get to the top as quick as I can and whatnot. So I just dig the grind and figure... A lot more fun with you guys around than me just doing it by myself. That sounded dirty. <laughs> Logan, dude. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that was from another live stream. I've got a whippet and two beagles. And the thing about the beagles, the whippet is a sight hound and they, you know, chase rabbit. Uh, the beagles sniff rabbit and whatnot. But yeah, they, they are super loud. And if they hear or see anything, you know, like, you know how beagles are. But yeah, <laughs> it's cool you remembered. And Whippet was a car company back in the uh, 20s. The Woodall Whippet Company, I think it was called. The Woodall Whippet. Yeah. Aaron. 
understand the reverend, yes, but I, sh I assume you have guns and you should be safe, but I understand. <laughs> I'm a guy that was born and raised in Texas. I got a couple. We'll put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, you enjoyed the uh, Logan. You enjoyed the grind, but you didn't have anything, so you got it done really fast. I've been in that shoes too. I did that uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 uh, back when that came out, and I just like that's all I did was just go through and just pound away. And then I learned my lesson. Like, man, just I think my favorite part was the grind. So that's what I'm doing here is just going slow. I know there's a lot of content creators that are way, way higher level than me. And a lot more money than me. And that's okay. I'm just going at the pace that I want to go. If I was to like charge hard and be really hardcore about it, I wouldn't be having much fun. And in turn, the videos wouldn't be, I don't think would be, you guys would, you guys are smart enough to know when I'm having fun and when I'm like stressing or whatever. And I'm not going to come on here and stress and like go hard and try to like just, you know, you know what I mean? We're chill. This this channel is all about chill, hanging out, having fun. And that's what we're doing. We're just going chill. I'm not I'm not worried about numbers. I'm not worried about people, you know, being way higher than me and stuff. It's all good. We're just having fun here. Emperor, good night to you. Cletus, uh, the people that I think they reached out to me. Uh, my garage, the my garage people sent me an email a couple or a month or so ago that wanted me to check out their game. I should get back to them to check out it and see what. I think they wanted me to like do live or upload videos about it and stuff. And I like I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to get involved with somebody and then like feel like I have to say it's a good game <laughs> even if I don't think it is so I just I never got back to him about it it's like oh I'll check it out when it comes out to, to be able to buy it and then and then I'll buy it and I'll pay my own money for it and if I think it sucks I'll t say it sucks I don't want to be I don't want to feel like I have to say it's good just because they gave me early access to it you know what I mean Attilia, Attila, Attilia. T hey, Meadow. I started watching in a car. I started playing car sim because of you. Love the work. Keep giving the best car mechanics. That's so nice. Some of the best car mechanics content yet. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you to say. Sorry if I butchered your name. I apologize. Aaron, you never heard of a Whippet? It's uh, it's an interesting dog. It's just a miniature version of a Greyhound. That's all it is. It's a Greyhound that only comes up to about a little above your knee, somewhere around there. It's just a tiny Greyhound. Fast as hell. It's like a Ferrari. It, like, if you could imagine what a Ferrari dog looks like, if Ferrari was going to make a dog, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I saw the sandbox mode and I was like, oh man, that's going to be, that'll be interesting to see how that goes on YouTube. And uh, I, to be honest with you, I haven't watched a single one <laughs> because I'm not interested. I'm kind of surprised that they did a sandbox mode for this, as well as their promo code thing for the unlocking everything. That's seems a little weird. For Playway to do that. Yeah, I've been watching the mods. I'll check out that Nissan 2000 GTR. Some of them have been popping up and they 
haven't been quite legit. We'll just say it that way. Cletus, you lived in a small town by Dallas. I grew up in a town by Dallas. North of Dallas. Small world. Yeah, Aaron. <laughs> I feel you, brother. It's funny how uh, small dogs can feel like they have such a... <laughs> such a big presence in their own minds. What do you do if a bolt is missing when you restore a car? In real life? Or on here? I, I, I think it's not complete on here. In real life, it's not complete either. Same goes. Dallas, happy to have you. Said you're headed to bed. Appreciate the hospitality. And I will be definitely coming back to another live. Even more respect and love for you and your channel. Can I, oh, man, dude, that's so awesome. Thank you so much. Happy to have you. Happy to have you aboard. Excited to hear more about that F100 unibody because that's kind of my jam. Do you know if it was This Is Pain, Logan, that made the uh, mod? If you happen to know, because that's my guy. I need to talk to him. You need to send him an email. See if he was in the live. I think he was in. Yeah, he was in the last live stream. He's probably the he, in my opinion, the best modder for the CMS series. Like the majority of the mods on the, on my CMS eighteen stuff were built by. This is pain. Cletus, you have a great one. Love your love your screen name. Eastbound and down. Loaded up and trucking. They're gonna do what they say can't be done. You're gonna do what they say can't be done. So, I think what we're going to do, we got $15,000. I was going to shut it down. I was going to call it a night. Let's go grab something real quick. Let's just go grab something out of the junkyard, make a little capital. You guys down with that? You cool with that? Have I played the long drive? I saw that and I'm interested in it. Caleb says go to the junkyard. I'm not quite quite ready to shut things down yet. Because how far are we into this? Not even that long, right? Later, Aaron. All right, yeah. Let me go, uh, let me go get some water. I'm all about those LaCroix waters. So let me go get some water and let's go, uh, 
hit up the junkyard. I'll be right back, guys. I have returned and procured my water. <laughs> Something about carbonated water. The worst thing I think for live streaming is carbonated water because then I gotta hide my burps all the time, but it's so good. All right. As if you wanted to know all that info. One thing I don't understand is why everyone in his lives are so nice. That's the thing, Yoda. We built, a, like, that's my, the whole thing is the positivity here. This is a nice, cool, positive place. Aaron says, I think it's because he's such an outstanding guy. Oh, that's so nice. And his vids and stuff, he seems like a nice dude to get, get along with. That's, hey, there you go. You got it figured out, right? <laughs> We're just having fun here. I uh, just... It's all about peace and love. We're having fun. 
Greetings from the southern tip of Africa. Man. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of that. Uh, help me. The peak down there. In... Uh, That this, oh man. Okay, now I need to move on to something. I, could, I know the name of that peak down there in South Africa. Gorgeous area, by the way. So we're headed to the junkyard. <laughs> this is pain is here guys this is the guy I was talking about this is him he has a he he has a patreon although you need to share it with me because I tried to look it up the other day and I couldn't find it this is the guy who built pretty much all the mods I did in CMS 2018 this is pain this guy you guys should uh, bow down to he is the reason <laughs> The greatest mod creator out there, in my opinion. So, that's just me. Cape Town. Cape Town. That's the name. Uh, yes, the peak down there. Um, what is... Uh, something rock... What do they call that? Oh, it's killing me. But yes, this is pain is with us now. All is right in the world. And I have my LaCroix carbonated drink and I'll try not to burp on Mike <laughs> pain I have not yet sorry man I have been okay so I've got a lot going on right now <laughs> with uh, I've, this is my first time getting back to CMS at all, uh, in the last several days. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, rebuilding, like, uh, remodeling some of the house and things, a whole bunch of stuff going on right now. So it's like, everything's up in the air. And then also, um, finishing the... Uh, hot rod that or the f100 truck that I'm building for a customer so everything's been up in the air and then also all the back order stuff due to the pandemic so yes this is pain I will definitely check for sure all that stuff please if you wouldn't mind shoot me an email because actually I deleted everything in my email long story but if you if you wouldn't mind shoot me another email that'd be great and we'll get that stuff figured out. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, been busy. Been busy, for sure. Here we have another one of those. Like, it, Somebody mentioned it looks like a Pinto. To me, it looks like a Chevy Citation. Do you guys remember those? Chevy Citations? Um, Payne, can, are you able to share your link to your Patreon in the chat? That'd be awesome. They call it the, yeah, the Salem Flamo. 6,000 bucks. Could probably make a, I mean, I'm sure we'd make a few bucks on that. Might as well send it over to the garage. And here we go. A little bit of burp from the LaCroix. It's weird it builds that wall and then all of a sudden you can walk right through it. Yeah, Payne, if you wouldn't mind shooting me again because I went through and cleared out all my email stuff guys 
I'm not even going to apologize that I'm just talking to him right now because this guy is pretty much why you guys are here. There's the creeper van again. We've done it already. Seven grand. Not necessarily worth it. Not seeing a whole lot left here. That's a good debate. There's, there's, I've seen a lot of debate about that car. Yeah, and I'm not seeing anything really left. Oh, here we go. It's like a Buick boat back style. I don't think we could afford it because this would be a great car to be able to do. They call it the Delray Winchester. 6,000. We can actually buy that. Okay, we're buying that. I'm not even... We're heading back to the garage. Yeah. Wow. You wouldn't be able to buy a Buick boat back for that money. So that's impressive. Yeah, the new junkyard, you, it really is kind of like a real junkyard. You kind of get lost in there, Payne. All right, so am I wrong in thinking this looks like a Chevy Citation? Like, it's not full-on Chevy Citation. But to me, it's got a lot of carryovers from it, more so than a Pinto. Well, it's got the, like, the rounded back of, like, somewhat of a pinto whereas the chevy citation was more of a straight back it's a it's a very very well done in between i'll give him that I'll definitely give him that so this buick riviera boat back type man i'd like to do this justice i'd like to bring it back to what it should be i didn't really care about the shape it was in i was just Totally stoked that I could afford it. This is probably going to go... Let's put it over. <laughs> oh, we can't use space number three yet. Oh, yeah, we can. Right there. It's just going to be our little mascot for now. Until I can do it justice. Until I can do it right. We're not flipping this thing. We're hanging on to that. And I'm going to build up. That's that's going to be the goal now. I'm going to try to build up the money. To be able to make this thing. As beautiful. As it once was. If not better. Alright. Let's take this thing inside. Move it over to car lifter A. Looks like a hybrid of a Pinto and a Citation. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Because you got that, like, the Pinto did have this, like, swayed back. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Ellis says, I don't know, I'm not from America. Well, yeah, because the Citation had more of a, it had the slope and then kind of a flat part pain. How much could I pay you to do a Chevy Citation? <laughs> I'd love to have a Chevy Citation. That was so many people's first cars of my generation. Maybe you're younger than me. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. The, she the Chevy Citation was a hell of a car. A lot of memories. Okay. So, we've got... 2,963 bucks. Actually, we should have sent this thing over to the car wash. Be, be cautious. The car might blow up. Uh, are you talking about the um, 
Corvair. Or no, that was the... What was it that... Um, oh, what's his nuts was so butthurt about? He ran for president. It was the Corvair, right? Okay, I gotta Google it now. was that yeah the pinto did do that but then it was uh, a presidential candidate it said the corvair right oh it's yeah they wrote a book about it who wrote the book about it he was a presidential candidate Ralph Nader wrote a book called Unsafe at Any Speed. There it is. <laughs> About the Chevrolet Corvair. That's what it was. Ralph Nader. That's what it was. Okay, sorry guys. My apologies. <laughs> it's one of those things. I had to check it before. It's like, it, it, oh, it was bugging me. Ralph Nader. There it is, Terry. Thank you so much. There it is. We figured it out. Okay. Let's get the... <laughs> oh, Nader. Use the equipment. Yes, let's weld this guy up. <laughs> the funny thing is... I mean... So Chevrolet wants to make an air-cooled car. What, what's the big difference between Volkswagen? I guess I didn't... Yes, this paint. Ralph Nader. Dangerous at any speed. Absolutely, that's the one. All right, so this... What do we got going on here? Let's go ahead and inspect it. Might as well, just to get the XP. And then that way it kind of helps me be able to check the chat a little bit. Come on, let's inspect one now. There we go. Yeah, I definitely like the way the weld tool does with the graphics. It's very cool how they do that. Yeah, Payne, I don't think there would be a whole lot of demand for you doing a... Uh, Chevy Citation. It's just <laughs> Probably not a lot of people champing at the bit for that car, but... I mean, you don't see them every day, so... Maybe there's a reason for that. <laughs> that drive shaft is shot. This car has seen better days. Thanks, Payne. I appreciate it. Again, guys, you are in the presence of greatness right here. This is pain. You think about... You mention a car. One of your favorite cars on my channel that I've done? It's his. I guarantee you it's his. He is the one to thank for all that. So let's see, we got that figured out. We've pretty much 
Yes, and dude, I need to know. Send me your Patreon link because I need to. I am signing up. I'm guarantee you that much. I couldn't find it. I worked. I, I looked for it for quite a while and was wasn't able to find it. Car status. Yeah, it's pretty shoddy. Not great. Not horrible. We've got two thousand four hundred sixty-three, but don't really want to put it into this car. I want to focus on that beautiful boat back we got out there. So let's go ahead and send this thing off. We made six hundred and thirty-four bucks. Hey, it's some. At least we're in the black and not in the red. So that's something. Or in this case, in the green. It's just nice to be able to go over into this little part of the shop. Check in the chat. Pain, there's no demand for the car I want to do more than any other. But that won't stop me from me once I buy the model. There you go. <coughs> do what you love. Do what your heart tells you to do. Right? Logan, why can't you continue with the story missions? Oh, did you report the bug, Logan? They're updating constantly. I had to do a big update before I could even do this live stream. And that's the thing, guys, is right there, as Payne said, he's got a very long backlog of stuff porting things over. He's not doing that for a paycheck. All the more reason... Can you share your Patreon? Or did you? I'm sorry if I missed it. All the more reason to support Payne, because... <laughs> he's, the, he's the guy that's going to give... You know, he's the guy that... He's the guy that does it. He's the guy... <laughs> Again, he's the reason you guys have subscribed to my channel. It's because he's done all the cool cars. He's 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 the creator of the the cool cars that we've done. Anything outside of the stock cars. So the more support he gets, you know, the more we get out of him, unless. Well, we don't want to run run them ragged, right? <laughs> to be honest, you're better off supporting him than supporting... Financially supporting him than uh, supporting me because... Then when he creates his mods, it goes uh, to, to multiple users. You know, so if you watch multiple users on CMS 21, okay, let me see. Did it not like? I'm curious. Double check here and check through the chat log. Maybe it's blocking links for some reason. I don't know. You shot me an email, so hopefully that will contain the link and then I'll be able to pass that along in my descriptions. Because I was trying to look for it for a while and I was having trouble.
Is there any one car you'd want to see the most that isn't Chevy Citation from This Is Pain? Oh, man. One car to... Oh, I see the problem is I love all cars. <laughs> I'm so... Uh, I love them all. You really can't go wrong. I mean, come on now. Yeah, Chevy Citation is not going to get you much. <laughs> um, oh... That's a tough one. Uh, you can't go wrong. Obviously, you can't go wrong. I've used your mods and so many, like, they've always been fantastic. You can't go wrong. I mean, I've got a personal bias to my my shop truck in, in real life. that uh, My hot rod shop that I own where I build classic cars in real life. Uh, my trusty old shop truck that I use every day that I love so much is a 1961 Ford F100 unibody. I don't know if uh, there's a way to do one of those. <laughs> that would be amazing. That was, that's, that's my trusty old favorite shop truck is my 61 Ford F100 unibody. But do it adds a pickup, so... That could be tricky. And it sits low. It's not a low rider, but it sits low. Eight fourteen AM for you, Ellis. Where are you at? Yoda, it's two fifteen for me as well. Pain, you are way too kind. This is a love fest between the two of us, and, and as it should be. <laughs> I love everything you've done. And I try to give you credit. I just would love to give get that Patreon link. Cracking open another LaCroix. Getting myself super hydrated. Michael, number one car that you wish you still had. My first car was a 1967 Ford Mustang Coupe. Uh, I'd love to have that back. But then probably, I've owned probably, about, uh, I last I counted was 32 cars to this date. And I'm still kind of a young guy. <laughs> I just like to buy cars and fix them and sell them and flip them and hang on and, you know, whatnot. My, but my first car being that 67 Ford Mustang Coupe, would love to have that back. Also, uh, the one that really stood out to me as being one of my favorite cars I ever owned was my 1990 uh, Mazda RX-7 uh, Turbo 2. I had an 88 RX-7 non-turbo and then the 1990 Mazda Series 5 Turbo 2 RX-7. I just love that car to death. The rotary engine, everything about it. Just incredible car. Wish I still had that one. That'd be great. Ellis, you live in England. Yeah, Payne, I looked up some of your videos. You haven't posted. I like you, you, you posted. I checked out your channel. Sorry. I was like creeping up on your channel, <laughs> checking things out because uh, I'm a fan of yours. And yeah, I'm not much of a streamer. This is I'm kind of new at this. This is kind of my new like new thing. So I'm not sure how to go about it. I the thing is, I get caught up on chat, so I don't play a whole <laughs> like I play for a while and then I get caught up in chat and want to talk to everybody because it's really cool to be able to talk to everybody. I think that's a really fun part about the whole live stream thing. And I don't want to be one of those guys that says, oh, I'm only going to read your comment if you super chat it. No, I don't want to be that guy. So I'm still learning how to go about that and make it all seamless and smooth, <laughs> if that makes sense.
Thank you, Yoda. I'm still working on it. I truly appreciate it. Yeah, Logan, uh, the thing is, uh, This Is Pain is probably the biggest unsung hero when it comes to, I'm not even kidding, like, the mods and everything, uh, CMS 2018, uh, he, yeah, it's a, <laughs> he's the real deal, there's, a, like, again, love fest for <laughs> This Is Pain, but... I owe him a lot, and again, there's a a good chance that the that you the reason that you're here is because of him. So, got to give credit where credit is due, and the credit goes to this is pain, for sure. I totally watch that. <laughs> I would find that fascinating, but yeah. I could see why some would not. But I, I'd, oh man, I'd find that fascinating. Stangman, you're wondering what kind of DLC they have for, planned for this game. One thing I've been hoping for, and I would love to see as DLC, is a, a proper Toyota DLC that contained the 2JZ would be fantastic. And, and for us to be able to drop the 2JZ, also the LS would be great. To have a proper LS to drop into stuff. A 2JZ and an LS, that'd be great. Am I hitting a vape? Not that I'm aware of. Later, Caleb. <laughs> I'm sad. Uh, Payne says, you're stroking my ego hard. I don't deserve it, but I accept it. Maybe I'm getting a little too passionate. <laughs> the dude deserves it. Come on now. Ellis, you're too kind. Thank you so much. To Toyota, hell yeah. Would I would love that too. Yes, it needs to be. I, would I don't see why it wouldn't... Why... Manufacturers wouldn't line up for this kind of thing because then you figure a lot of like younger people start doing this and they start seeing the brands like Nissan's in on this and everything. They start seeing the brands and you start building brand loyalty from a younger age than you would from like commercials or something like that. I think it's 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 a missed opportunity for some of those car companies that you know. But it, come on now. Like, this is a great way to get on the DLC. I mean, we've had, in 2018, we've had some great DLC from car companies. Some of them we could never afford, but I think it's a missed opportunity on some of the... We had Ford, which was great. We had Dodge, which was fantastic. It'd just be great to have Toyota. Well, there you go, Logan. Logan says, I would love to watch to see how someone makes mods for this game. I feel like that would be fascinating. Well, This Is Pain has a YouTube channel. I've been there. I've seen it.
Well, pain, that's all I've wanted. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Two Jay-Z and LS. I'm a happy camper at that point. <laughs> I'd like to see some Alfa Romeo DLC and you would have to fix have to fix on them. Yes, well that's par for the course, an Alfa Romero. I do like those cars. I do like them. Well, I like every car. <laughs> it's hard to go wrong. Logan, I see what you're saying about adding the different LSs. It'd be cool to see like a Chevrolet DLC. But at this point, they have, I guess, the Corvette. Because they're canceling the Camaro. So what do you have left? I mean, I guess you could do a Silverado and a Corvette, maybe. Yeah, the licensing thing, it's a big deal. Oh, that's interesting, Payne. But the fact is, we still get an LS and a 2JZ, that's... <laughs> Very exciting for me. You've seen someone said about the atom. Oh, I'm gonna I butcher it every time I say it. The atom. Ah, can't say it. The Pantera. Let's just say Pantera. De Tom Tomaso. <laughs> the Pantera. The De Tom I, I can never say it right. Anyways, it, it's a mid-engine Ford powered by a th uh, 351 Windsor mid-engine American built car that I can never pronounce correctly. But yeah, that was a cool car back in the 70s, yeah, mid 70s to late 70s. Very cool car. Thank you, Steph, <laughs> Stefan or Stefan de Tomaso. There you go. If you say it and you spell it out right, that's exactly right. De Tomaso. Pantera. <laughs> Stefan. Do you pronounce it Stefan? Because my middle name is S T E F A N Stefan. Not even joking. That is my middle name. Madacaster Stefan. <laughs> oh, I get why somebody thinks I was hitting a vape because when I lean... Okay, so I've got this office chair that has like a hydraulic back. So when I lean back, like it's old now and it makes like this bubbly kind of like Odd noise. Let me try. It. Like it makes this weird noise. I get it now. No, I'm not vaping. 
But it's not, I can I I get it because I've heard that sound. I get it. A third axle for like what the uh Oh, what was that raptor that had three axles? It was done by it wasn't done by um Oh, what's his name? Oh, but yeah, I know it. Yeah. A third axle for Oh, for semis. I well, that, okay, this, never mind. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah, this chair is old and crappy. It makes a weird noise with a little, little hydraulic part in the back. It makes an odd noise. I ain't vaping. Looking for vape pens. I don't see anything. Is there a vape pen over here? What? Mm. What's that? I don't know. Not a vape pen. Yeah. Sorry, not seeing any vape pens around here. We can check in here too. I don't know what this is. Yep, sorry, no vaping going on over here. Again, not sure what this bottle is. What that's all about. I know what that is. That's a dent puller. <laughs> Have I created a vape controversy? <laughs> I'm trying to lean back in my chair and it's not making that noise right now either. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's not doing it. I swear it does it. I don't forbid vaping. If you vape, go for it. Make it happen. Vape to your heart's content if you want to vape. I'm just not one of those. Watching this on 144p. You're not missing much. We're just kind of talking. <laughs> Everything in a garage where the mechanic don't smoke. Wow. I'm a poopy mechanic then. Here, what if I... My mic was off. Was I vaping? Do you know? I also wish they gave you the ability to turn off cars. You don't really have any interest in building, so you don't have more of a chance to find cars. You do not want to build. You talking about the junkyards or in the in the like the the orders? Because 
You gotta imagine if you're a mechanic, you just kind of gotta take what you, what's coming at you. Because then that's the cool part about moving over to being able to go to the auctions and go to the junkyard and stuff. Because you, you take those orders and you do that stuff and then you work yourself up to being able to just do whatever the heck you want. Which is cool. <laughs> yes, I'm 14. Correct, Aaron. I promise it's my chair. <laughs> How many times have people blamed farts on their chair? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. There's this cylinder in the back part of my chair. Do I just need to buy a new chair so people don't think I'm vaping all the time? <laughs> part of, is that is going to be part of my new sim rig or my, you know, live stream rig? I'm amazed that there's 118 current viewers for this conversation that we're having right now. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah, like, so when you go to a barn, it's not wasted with some cars that you're not interested in. I see what you're saying. But sometimes that's kind of cool because then you got to think about it may not be a car you're totally crazy about, but can you flip a profit on it? Logan, you've seen my other channel, and you know that I am indeed in my l mid to late 20s. There you go. Oh, yeah, I totally own my farts, too. It's part of the fun. <laughs> Especially when you sneak one out and you wait for your friend to smell it. It's good times. Mechanic chair. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to fix my chair so it doesn't make vape sounds. <laughs> I can't get... I'm trying to get... There you go. You can hear I'm far away from the mic. I'm trying to make it... When I lean back every now and then, it makes, apparently, what somebody says, a vape sound. It's... <laughs> Pain knows. He says you just need to start out on the next live stream with a picture of the chair to prove it. I don't know what you guys want from me. <laughs> Screw CMS, let's grind for... Okay, so now we've turned into a chair thing. I like the chair I have. I ain't getting rid of it. It's old, but it, it, it has conformed to my buttocks. That gaming channel, I'm sorry, yes. I'm so stoked that you're so excited that you've finally made it to one of my live streams, but we are stuck in a vape slash gaming slash office chair. It's, it's become kind of a scandal now, to be honest. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Because I can't make the sound happen again. I'm work. I'm trying. Uh, my chair has performance anxiety. P 
People think I'm vaping. That gaming channel. They think I'm vaping over here. Yeah, it's all controversy. But here's the thing, guys. Here's what you need to know. Controversy creates conversation. Therefore, we're creating content. <laughs> Who says I'm vaping? Okay, so Aaron, were you the one that's saying I'm vaping? God, who cares about vaping anyways? Isn't that over already? Or isn't that a thing? Is that still a thing? <laughs> no, that gaming channel, I'm just joking. It's funny what this has turned into. It's, it's, it's actually funny. I think it's, I'm having fun with it. It's good content, in my opinion. <laughs> there was, we did some cool cars before this. If you want to watch the, <laughs> the live stream, if you want to watch it later. Pickle Rick says I'm vaping too. He said I heard it too. I got red hand it got caught red. I swear there is a cylinder in this chair that puts the resistance on the leaning back and it's le oh my gosh, I can't make it make the sound anymore because I keep pushing on it and it's not making the sound anymore. I like how all of this came from one dude that says, are you vaping? Checking out my garage over here. I don't see any vape pens over here. I ain't gonna ask for subs. You guys are here because you want to be here. I'm not gonna beg for subs. But that's cool that uh, you pointed that out, Aaron. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, that gaming channel. You got a good screen name. It's better than mine. Pickle Rick doesn't believe me. He wants to hear that sound of the, the vape juice cooking. Hold on, let me. That's what this is pain is saying about it. <laughs> he says I'm vaping out my ass. That'd be a cool trick. Logan, man, you guys are really on top of this. Well, then what else makes a vape sound? My chair makes a sound. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it's an old chair. It makes a sound. Oh, this is going to be a big deal. The Mat Matocaster v slash vape controversy. CMS 2021. Will he ever make the vape sound again? Slash is the chair the culprit? Dot, dot, dot. You know what? S side note. Is this, this live video will stay up. 
under the live tab on YouTube. So you guys will be able to pull the audio and you can decide for yourself. Was Madacaster vaping? Or was his chair fooling you into thinking that Madacaster is addicted to uh, what is it? It's, uh, what's in cigarettes? What's the thing? This pain. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Oh, nicotine. Because you can get like what, like cough drops for or drops or suckers, whatever the hell uh, that thing. Pain. Uh, I'm gonna check for your email. Thank you so much for shooting it over to me. Yeah, nicotine. Thank you, Logan. Um, this is Pain. Pleasure having you. I hope to see you in more live streams, truly. And maybe I'll uh, suggest some good, um, like good vape, uh, what are they called? The flavors? The vape vaporizer. The grape one is good for you. We'll try that. All right, Pain. Thank you so much for being here. Big ups to Pain, for sure. Thank you, brother. It did it. It did it again. Did you hear it? I just leaned back and it did it again. <laughs> it really did. Well, go back if you want to <laughs> and check and listen closely. It, I swear it made that sound again. Guys, pain's out. I got to say, I'm headed out. It's 2.46 local time. For me, I appreciate you guys being here, truly. That was a fun stream. That was a really fun stream. <laughs> Yay, your chair pumped hydraulic fluid, but I don't think anyone heard it. Isaiah's, I'm not going to lie, I can hear that. Can't hear, oh, I thought you said you can hear that. Pickle Rick said I didn't hear that. Did I join at the end of this live stream? Monty, you missed a lot. Sadly. I hate vaping. You walk down the street and smell the aroma of cinnamon buns around the corner. You sprint around expecting a bakery and it's just... No, it's just Mary and her cloud of lies. That is... I heard that from a comedian. I thought that that was... That's a very good one. Yeah, your chair pumped hydraulic. Okay, yeah, I read that one. Guys, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. As always. The conversation is great, Logan. We've been having fun with that. Everybody, I think, is kind of headed, headed to bed. Headed to... Well, not... G... GRGA 1000 It's 9.47 a.m. Where are you at? 9.47 a.m. There's my burps from my LaCroix. You didn't disappoint me at all. Don't worry about that. It's going to take a while before I can learn that. <laughs> you want to see more of these live streams? Well, they'll be coming. I'm, I'm 
Gonna be doing more for sure. Thinking this Saturday will be one for sure. I'm surprised I didn't fall asleep either, Richard. I'm tired. Apparently vaping too. Have been been watching of your vi been watching all of your videos on my PlayStation nonstop. Playing, well, that's awesome. You're playing along with the videos. That's awesome. Yo, boy, I appreciate it. <laughs> Sorry, it's your first live stream. It's about to end. We've been going on for several hours now. So if it, once it's over, just hop on over and hit restart, <laughs> refresh, go again. Appreciate it, guys, so much. Croatia, that's so cool. It's pronounced Ashes. Okay. Now I know. What are the video plans for the rest of the week? Ask Logan. Um, don't really have a whole lot, to be honest with you. I've got a lot going on right now. <laughs> the, the in real life restorations and stuff. So if I'm if I make one, I'll edit it and I'll put it up. I usually do that within a day or two. So I'll find it. I'll find a way. Where do I get my mods? I get them from This Is Pain. I will put his Patreon uh, link up as soon as I can. Because he shot me an email and I think he's got the link for it. So, for sure. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. We've been going long. This has been a fun one. I appreciate each and every one of you that have been here. This has been fun. I really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.